So friends, in this session, talking about people who can sometimes really suck your energy. Sometimes people would call that energy vampires. But it's good to understand that it's not really just like that, right? It's, it's everybody can sometimes um, act as if they are an energy vampire. Everybody can act sometimes as if they are an angel and an enlightened saint in their, in their being. It's just uh, sometimes people can really give someone energy, they can really listen to them, and sometimes people are in a state in which they really take a lot of energy. And you have noticed that uh, yourself sometimes, if you are with people, sometimes you are with somebody and you're maybe just 10 minutes with them, you're talking a bit with them, and after those 10 minutes, sometimes you feel a bit more light, a bit more uplifted, a bit more joyful, and you feel like, ah, life is good and with some other people after talking for 10 minutes you just feel drained you feel tired you feel as if you are carrying all of a sudden a heavy burden on you right and it's very good and very important to really become aware of that that every action that you perform everybody you talk to the places that you are they have a certain effect on your energetic state and it's good to become aware of that so that you can really um, consciously start to choose okay i want to be in this presence i want to be in this place uh, where i feel i'm fed with energy in which I, I feel more joyful, I feel more light, and I want to avoid the places where it drains my energy. And as I mentioned before, it's not really like there is some people who are just like a race of, of vampires and other people are not. Everybody can sometimes be that. People can start to suck other people's energy when there is an emptiness in them. And this is very good to understand. So. If somebody, for instance, feels a very strong insecurity, maybe something happened in their past in which they, after that they felt really insecure, or they felt they very traumatized, or they felt they have been um, hurt very much, that emptiness creates a personality in which a lot of times people seek other people to fill up that emptiness. I hope you can follow this because this is good to understand also to become able to understand what is happening in that. So let's take a very simple example. Um, somebody feels very insecure about themselves. Maybe when they were young, uh, they were uh, maybe bullied very much or um, um, their, their father didn't love them enough, whatever it is. And from that emptiness, a behavior starts to um, grow in their lives, in which they maybe constantly feel they have to put other people down. They have to constantly feel that um, I have to be on top of that person. Or they feel like, okay, I need to put my negative energy, I need to talk it out. I need to put it onto other people. So what they do, eh, they call a friend and they say, oh, you know what happened now today and they come up with all sorts of negative things that happened that day because they feel oh, this negativity that i have within i need to put it out somewhere or they feel like okay i need some attention so maybe something bad happened in that day and they feel like okay i need somebody else to tell me how much they feel sorry for me or i, I want other people to comfort me so they call somebody else or they say to somebody else, ah, oh, it's so terrible happened today. Ah, oh, feel pity for me, please, please feel pity for me. And like that, draining other people's attention or energy. So this can start to become really a personality trait, a behavior that is in these people. And if you're not careful and you maybe have some people like that in your life, you constantly feel you're drained of energy. But it's good, as I will explain a bit later on, to learn to put your boundaries, to learn to say no. And as I mentioned already in another talk, saying no just means saying yes sometimes to yourself. But I will come back to that later, right? So it's very easy, a lot of people now that are watching this to think like, ah, yeah, I know that person that's an energy vampire and oh, that person is an energy vampire. But don't forget to also look in the mirror, right? Every one of us can sometimes 
uh, act in a certain way in which they suck someone else's energy. If you put a lot of your complaints on the day or whatever it is that, that you feel um, you are putting a lot of your, your negativity or you're draining somebody's attention towards yourself. Okay, so become yourself very aware of the presence that other people have on your energetic state, but also your own presence on to other people. Sometimes it can feel if you're with somebody that they just start to, uh, there's a very impolite word for this, but, but it, it does cover a little bit the, the depth of it, like, like you're being ear banged, like, like somebody's just banging constantly your ear and it's like talking, talking, talking and there's no moment you can come in between because that person is just talking and all you're feeling you're doing is saying, oh yeah, oh really, oh yes, oh yes, and you're thinking, okay, when is this going to stop, you know, and the going on, going on, going on, it's almost like you're being abused, like uh, abused just to be used as a a, 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 a talking <laughs> talking head, you, you are being used to as a listening post. So learn then to really recognize that, okay, now I'm feeling I'm draining my energy, but putting the problem not to yourself, but to that other person. Don't get me wrong, it's sometimes really good to listen to people and to listen with full attention and to be present. But if you notice that person, it's no use really listening to that person. Make a little stop and just say, okay, wait a minute. This is enough. Either the person has to get to the point, what he or she really, really wants to communicate, or you say, I'm, uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm gonna stop this conversation. I, I'm gonna do something else or whatever it is, right? So learning to recognize what is happening as you are communicating with people, what is happening on a deeper level. It's not just words when you're communicating, it's an exchange of energy that is happening. So learning to recognize that and learning also to say, now it's enough, either you're gonna get to the essence of what you really wanna communicate, if there's really something deeper uh, of a problem, or you're gonna stop uh, verbally just using me as a listening post to put your, your, your negative, negative things out. I hope you're following a little bit what I'm saying because it's easy to keep it as a theory but to make this also a practical thing in your daily life, in your reality, then real change is going to happen, right? So if you recognize that somebody is just calling you to put their their, 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 their crap on, but they, it's not really used to, um, um, for you to really listen to them and to be really present because it's not solving anything, then recognize, okay, stop, <laughs> stop whining, stop whatever you're doing, uh, get, to, get to the point of it. And it is very important, and that's also something that I really try to teach in all these sessions of breathing and everything and, and meditation, to get this respect for yourself also, that you respect yourself in a way that you feel like, okay, I have also my life energy, I have also my space, I respect my own mental state, I respect my emotional state also so much that I can say yes to protecting that space, so that you can say that you have the, the willpower, the, 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 how would you say, the the, the, the guts to say, okay, wait a minute, just stop for a moment the conversation, just stop it. What is it actually that you want to say? Or saying something like, listen, I don't, I don't, I, I've been listening to your stories already for so long, I, I, I don't want to hear it anymore. You want to do something else, or you want to do maybe something fun, or you want to uh, write about it uh, with me, that's okay, but not having that verbal draining that's constantly happening. Okay. So, to be able to do that, you have to be in your strength, right? Because if you feel a bit weak yourself, it's very difficult to say no to other people. So, I hope you're following a little bit what I'm trying to say, that you develop both your own strength, your own self-respect, 
but also recognizing what is actually happening that that person is not necessary that is an energy vampire is not necessarily a bad person or something but maybe something somewhere happened in life that created such a damage in their emotional system or in in their in their mental system or an emptiness or a lot of garbage that they feel they need somebody else to either carry their garbage or to fill up their emptiness and recognizing that you can develop a bit more um, let's say compassion also for that person that you recognize okay what is actually happening here the person is using me uh, maybe uh, to to talk to or to put me down or to uh, in all sorts of ways draining my energy okay what is actually happening here okay it's that person's emptiness that's that person that is damaged it's not really my problem it's that person's problem ah Okay, I know what is happening. I don't have to make it my problem. I don't have to get sucked into this. I don't have to be put down or something. Like that. I keep that problem to that person. Put up a mirror. Okay. Otherwise, what can happen is you start to build up a type of relationship and you get entangled in such a way that there after some years grows a kind of hierarchy and it's really difficult to to break that relationship in that form right that for so many years the role of the person that is sucking the energy has become so strong and the role of the person that is losing having their energy drained is so strong that as soon as this person maybe says like okay stop it's enough the person that is uh, draining the energy let's say the energy vampire will say oh in all sorts of tricks like oh um so you you don't love me anymore or oh you um you you are hurting me now so much and playing all these types of roles un uh, unconsciously doing that but playing all sorts of roles to keep that hierarchy in um, that relationship right and whether that's with a friend with a spouse with a family member whatever it is it's that Hierarchy, that, that role that everyone plays in their life with other people has become so strong that there's all sorts of defense mechanisms built in to keep it in that way. Okay. So either through guilt, through shame, through anger, all these sorts of games that will be played then to keep that role in the status quo. And then it's good to also recognize what is happening. Is recognizing okay what is happening so let's summarize a little bit this talk right and then take a little moment to do a short meditation energy vampires however you want to call it people that drain other people's energy it's not not necessarily that there's a, it's a type of people a kind of people no it's just a behavior that sometimes people can have and everyone that's listening maybe at some point in their life has had that mode of being an energy vampire by just whining about complaining maybe putting other people down to feel better yourself or to um, just being very uh, negative or talking 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 without paying any attention if that person really um, let's say not, it's not being drained by your constant talking, right? So everybody has sometimes this uh, in their life. Now, it's good to build up a consciousness about this, an awareness about this, that you become aware of this behavior and why that is. It's a lot of time because people have either an emptiness that they need to fill up by other people telling them oh, that they are so uh, so sad or uh, a bit of a bit of pity that they get from other people or maybe a praise of other people just uh, filling up something that they have or they have to put their garbage out on other people to just feel uh, better themselves right so once you recognize that you can both recognize the game that is happening and eh? recognize that okay wait a minute now that person is pulling something either out of me or putting a lot of uh, crap onto me, a lot of weight onto me. Okay, I recognize what is happening. I can act compassionately. 
I don't have to become angry with that person or don't have to uh, blame that other person. Just recognize, okay, this is what is happening now. I choose now to say no, which actually means saying yes to myself. I say, this is now enough. Uh, you've been maybe already talking for so much time or you're whining or just you just shut up, you, 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 you stop listening. Uh, or you say you, you can get to the point. What, what is it that you're actually trying to communicate? What is actually happening here on a more energetic level? Is there a pain maybe that you actually want to talk about? Or is there maybe uh, something you, you really want to say in here? Okay, so that you start to recognize that. And for that, you need to develop a bit of willpower, a bit of self-respect, a bit of life empowerment. Otherwise, you are too weak. And then next, to really recognize what is happening if you have this thing with people that you maybe have already a long time relationship with. There has grown such a hierarchy, such a role playing that one is the energy taker and the other is the energy giver and to break that pattern all sorts of mental games might be played as soon as you maybe say like listen you've been talking about this already for so long i don't want to hear it anymore it's draining my energy sorry this is enough the person will go into maybe a role playing like oh maybe you don't love me or um, uh, why do you get so angry with me or all sorts of games will start happening recognize that ah okay now this or that is happening it's okay maybe you just either uh, stop playing that game or you say what is happening but don't try not to get involved in that game playing okay so i have another video maybe you can watch that learning to say no because this is really important it is right that you set your boundaries with it that you recognize what's going on and you learn to say no good friends so lastly it is for doing all this is very important to become aware of Just to build up awareness, to become aware of what is happening in your own emotional state. Am I losing energy here? Oh, wait a minute, I'm draining my own energy. Or maybe you are also making stories up in your head yourself, which is draining energy when you talk with people. Recognize that as well. So that you become fully aware of what is happening, building up this awareness. And for that, meditation is also very important. And the power of meditation, the power of breath brings you that awareness, but also that self-confidence, that inner strength, that self-respect, which is so important for all this. So lastly, what we're going to do is a little meditation, just a short one, to set your intention for yourself. Like, okay, I will build up awareness about all this maybe there are some people in your life that you can think of right now that are actually draining a lot of your energy but maybe you're too afraid to break that uh, role playing what i talked about uh, before to to tell them that you feel like oh but then he or she gets angry or sad or maybe um, uh, starts to uh, be, behave in a very pitiful way or something like that that you recognize it and start to build up this awareness this compassion towards yourself and the other person and kind of pray or set the intention that you can be relieved from this role playing that you might have with other people because it takes two to tango as they say it takes two to make that dance the other person cannot play the role of being an energy vampire if you want to call it like that if you are not there to give that person that energy so if you stop playing the role of giving energy, and you keep your boundaries, then that person can also not play the role of being an energy vampire. And also, of course, lastly, <laughs> make sure that you don't play sometimes also the role of energy vampire, that you become aware, like, ah, actually I'm putting now a lot of my negativity onto someone else. I'm constantly talking about my uh, uh, negative thing that happened today, and I'm not even 
paying attention if that person is, is okay with me doing that. Right? Good. So friends, come into a sitting position, like I said, just a, a two or three minute, or maybe five minute uh, little talk, uh, sorry, meditation, and breathing to set that intention. Relax the arms a bit, roll the shoulders, roll the head. Very calmly, taking a couple of slow breaths just to become a bit more present, to feel the body, to feel the breath. Like you make a little mini smile. And whether you feel very much a bit stressed out or down, that's also fine. It's your life experience. Whether you feel very relaxed, also beautiful. It's all good. It's all good, really. As long as you become aware of that with kindness. For a couple of breaths, you breathe slowly into your body as you feel your body with some kindness, with some friendliness. Like you say, okay, this body, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to improve my life in such a way that I will live with a bit more awareness, a bit more energy. And to enhance that feeling, we're going to rub the hands together and place a hand. Make sure that you join in with this, friends, not just listening. Place a hand on the heart, a hand on the belly. A bit of self-love, self-kindness. Okay, I'm going to take care of you. I respect you. I'm grateful for life, that I can sit here, that I can breathe. So far, eh, I'm, I'm still alive, that I have trillions of cells in the body that are communicating together, that are alive. That... Thank you, thank you God, thank you life. And one more time, we rub the hands together, we place the thumbs against the heart with the head a little bit down. Like we set an intention for ourselves and set the intention that we may live in a way that we can protect our own boundaries. That we live in a way that we can live in healthy relationships with other people. That we make a little smile with compassion towards ourselves, a compassion and kindness but also to others that have maybe taken up the role of sucking out energy of other people, that we feel compassion, okay, maybe that person is just not happy, that person just carries a lot of suffering maybe, or feels a strong emptiness, I feel the compassion for them. I don't have to play the role anymore of being either somebody that's giving off a lot of energy where the energy is sucked out. I don't have to play also the role of taking other one's energy. It can be a nice balance. I can give the energy that I want to give, but I don't have to have anything sucked out of me. Thank you, thank you to life that I can do this. And for just the last couple of breaths, like you smile and you see yourself as a body of energy, a body of light, of life. So may we all be blessed with 
lots of love, lots of peace, lots of wisdom. Maybe build up the ability of being nourished by life with the energy and use our energy wisely in the way that we give it, in the way that we use it. May we build up compassion, kindness, love, both to others and ourselves. Take two more nice deep breaths in, friends, just to set that intention into your subconscious. Friends, give yourself a nice little massage, a little massage over the head, a little massage over the face, like that. Beautiful. Friends, again, for thank you for all your wonderful comments also that I see. I always read them and your wonderful support. Also, those of you that are doing some of the online courses on the Yoga Lab website, uh, Yoga Lab with L-A-P. I uh, am very grateful for that. And in a way, together, making society a bit of a better thing right making this world a bit of a better place that if you start really developing this consciousness this inner wisdom this awareness everything that is already within you if you start developing it you are starting to shine goodness in life you stop sucking up other people's energy you become a light you start being able to shine a lot of energy in other people's lives as well and like that everybody starts shining this world will become a very beautiful bright place so wishing you lots of peace lots of love lots of wisdom namaste